I'm going to ask you two questions now, and they sort of uh, okay. go together. You mentioned the Mulkies, actually. They may be one of the answers. Uh, question one is jobber, enhancement talent, or carpenter. Which term do you yeah. prefer? And of those terms, who were, in your opinion, the Crockett Mount Rushmore of enhancement talent? Well, I hate the word jobber. I mean, I do. I, I, to this day, I, I, I will fight somebody because – What's what's amazing is you don't know how many times, James, the fans don't realize how many times Dusty would take me over to a top guy at TV and say, you know, George, this should be the other way around. Uh, and I've literally uh, put guys where I wanted them uh, or even hold them on top of me. They couldn't even beat me. Uh, and I knew they were going to beat me. Uh, you know, me and Al Snow have a thing between us where – uh, that I claim to be uh, the loser of the most matches. And so sometimes they'll book me and Al Snow and the promoter will say, George, you're going over. And I'll say, no, I'm not. And, <laughs> and, and I'll say, well, I ain't going over either. So we'll be out there trying to hold it. The fans think we're nuts, but we'll be trying to hold each other on the other one. You know, <laughs> yeah. So Al will pin me. But I, I hate the word jobber. Uh, carpenter, I, I don't mind. Uh, you know, enhancement talent. Uh, I, I tell people, just call me a pro wrestler. Because if you think back, James, especially in the Crockett era, some of those guys in the first and second match were top guys in other territories. You know, I'm very uh, biased here. Uh, my partner, Gary Roll, you know, who we uh, tagged uh, all of those years together. And, 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 you know, I remember Dusty give us Jim Crockett's credit card. And he said, I need you to order some outfits, masked outfits. And here, I'm the innocent one, you know, and I said, Gary, D uh, Dusty said three. That's it. You know, I'm like Gary's dad, you know, and Gary said, uh-uh, we're going to get boots. <laughs> we're going to get trucks, capes. And I calmed him down. You know, I said, no, you're not. We're going to do three. As I look back, I wish we would have went crazy. <laughs> you know, we bought everything. But, uh, of course, Italian Stallion, you know, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, these are guys, I, you know, that I traveled uh, with. Uh, Denny Brown, who I learned a lot from. Uh, uh, Steve Regal, you know, a lot of fans don't realize they were two. Steve Regal. He, you know, he, he in uh, fact, he, he subscribes to my channel. He writes comments occasionally. So uh, we're, wow. we're in touch, yeah. Right. And, you know, I don't know if you remember, James, but there was another Steve Regal that was in the AWA. Yeah, no, that's the one, uh, Mr. Electricity. Oh, wow. That is so wonderful. Oh, that is so great. <laughs> yes. he. Because uh, when I say Steve Regal, most people think, you know, our buddy WWE, mm -hmm. you know, guy that's with AEW now. But, oh, Steve, when he came in, Mr. Electricity, when he came down, uh, uh, what what an amazing group uh, of talent. Uh I learned so much from, from uh, you know, uh, Hector Guerrero, uh, who came in uh, as Lasertron. Uh, it was funny because back then, fans were bad now, but they tried to be smart back then. And they thought that that was like Hector, you know, as Lasertron. And, but they weren't sure. So you'd be in the ring with Hector as Lasertron, and the fans would start chanting, Hector Tron, Hector Tron. <laughs> and man, he would get so mad. <laughs> and I would say, oh, I didn't do it. They did it. Uh, but we used to do a thing, and it got over, that I would wrestle Laser Tron. And James, he had two antennas on his mask. I don't know if you remember. But for my heat, when I would get my heat on him, I would start twisting his antenna. Now, that sounds stupid now. <laughs> but in Baltimore, when it was sold out and they're waiting on Dusty and Flair, it got over like a million bucks. And I, so I would twist his antenna and he would sell it. <laughs> Boy, times have changed. <laughs> but I, I tell you, uh, those right there, I mean, uh, there used to be a real old timer named uh, Bobby Bass who wrestled in the Crockett's in Memphis a little bit. But he used to, uh, before he would go to the ring, he would always say, make it look fake. <laughs> <laughs> and I always love that. You know, everybody's good that are trying to kill each other, but he he would always say, "Make it look fake." <laughs> and I always love that. Yeah. But that would be some of my top guys. 